Hi, this is Hope and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to change colors in a project that you're doing. So I have three colors right here, just some leftover yarn that I had. And all three of these are the same brand, Caron Simply Soft. And today, for the purpose of this video, I'll be using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. So let's make a small swatch. Choose whatever color you want, it doesn't matter. So make a slip knot and let's do a chain of 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this first swatch that I'm going to show you is the back and forth. So I'm going to do one more chain and then do a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then single crochet into each stitch all the way to the end of the row. Let's do one more row. So chain one, turn your work, single crochet into the very first stitch, and then single crochet to the end of the row. Alright, so this is my last stitch and so now I want to change my color. So I, the way I like to do it is, so for the single crochet method, I would usually put my hook in pull through that first loop and instead of going on like we would usually do I would take my next color and pull through those two loops like this then I would just tighten and with the original with the first color that I started with and then the loose strand right here I would tie them together to secure. You can double knot it or single knot it. You can cut off your first color. And now we continue on with our new color. So let's do the next row as a half double crochet. So you can see how it would do a change of color if you were doing half double crochet. So chain one, I like to chain one and pull up, and then half double crochet into the first stitch. Then half double crocheting into the rest of the stitches across. And 
All right, and here's our last stitch. So here's how you, you would usually do your half double crochet to end the row. So you pulled through, and then you, you have your three loops on your hook, and you would pull through all three. So then you continue on with chain one, and then you would do another row, for example. So let's just do that. So here's our last stitch. So we're going to yarn over, put our hook through the stitch and pull our yarn out. And instead of finishing off our half double crochet with this, we'll take our new color, or if you're doing two color, just go back to the first color and again, this take your yarn and pull it through all three to finish off your half double crochet and then just tighten with the color and then take that loose strand of your new color and secure it by tying those two together and cut off the yarn that we are finished with. And we will begin the next row. And this row, let's do a double crochet row, just for the sake of it. So chain one, pull up, yarn over, and do a double crochet into that first stitch. And then double crochet into each stitch all the way across. And let's do another row. Chain one, pull up, turn, yarn over, put your hook through into that very first stitch and complete your first double crochet. Continue on to the end of the row. Alright, and this is our last stitch of this row, and I'm going to show you how to change your color if you're doing the double crochets. So yarn over, put your hook through the stitch, pull up, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and then take your next color that you want to do. And just like before, pull your new color through these last two loops, tighten and secure by tying the new color with the previous color. And then cut off the yarn that you're finished with. And now you can just continue on with your new color. So if you're doing your color changes often, 
you're going to end up with a lot of these strands. If you're doing them not as often, you're going to have less of them. Uh, what's good about not having a lot of them is either you don't have a lot of them to sew in or you don't are not going to end up with very thick uh, places where if you were to make a border like in a blanket you can hide them by crocheting them in and if you have a lot of them you'll end up like here we have four strands of yarn so it ends up being kind of thick and quite visible in between your stitches. So this is how I usually do color changes and this is the back and forth. Let's do a quick color change if we were going around and around. It's really not that much different but just want to show you that with the around and around method you can actually crochet your strands in right away. So let's do a slip knot and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then slip stitch to join into a circle. Go into your very first chain, slip stitch. And let's do a single crochet into each chain around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So slip stitch into your first single crochet to join and we'll do another row of single crochet. So single crochet into that same stitch you slip stitched into and then continue on with one single crochet in each stitch around. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so we have come back around and here we're going to slip, uh, begin our slip stitch, but instead of using this color, we're going to take our next color and pull it through to slip stitch. So instead of slip stitching with your original color that you began with, you're slip stitching with your new color. And again we're going to secure by taking this new color and the long strand from the original color and we're going to tie it. Cut off a piece of the original color. And now what I like to do is I'll take these two strands and I'll line them up with the top of my, uh, the, the row that I just did. So when I continue, I'll, be, I'll show you how I'll be able to crochet these in so I don't have to sew them in later. So let's do this row with half double crochet, so chain one and pull up. 
yarn over, put your hook through the first chain. And so if you're planning on crocheting this in, make sure these strands are above your hook. That, or your hook is under those strands and just like the top of your half double crochet is under your hook. So then pull your yarn through and half double crochet. Yarn over, put your hook in through the next stitch. Again, make sure your strands are over the hook. Yarn over, pull through, pull through all three. Do the same thing with the rest of the stitches. So those loose strands ended and as you can see, they're not sticking out. So let's continue on with our half double crochets. So this is what's really cool about doing your color change in and around and around is you won't have to you know, sew in later on. Unless there's, you know, stitches that are quite open, not like this, where you have a stitch in every single stitch around, then it could get complicated and they'll either slip out or they'll be visible. So those kind of stitches you'll have to sew in. So slip stitch into the top of your half double crochet. And let's do another row. So half double crochet into the same stitch and then one half double crochet in each stitch around. You can practice with more stitches. All right, so we did our last one and we're about to slip stitch. So again, this is actually is not going to be any different because we're just doing a slip stitch versus when we were doing this, it kind of changed a little bit when we were putting our new color in. Here, it is always the same. You will put your hook in through the top of your first stitch that you made, and then you will just take your new color and slip stitch with the new color. And it doesn't matter if it is a single crochet, a double crochet, a half double crochet, you will always slip stitch into the top and so you will do that with your new color and it is best to actually double knot it because the one knot will actually become loose and even if you do sew it in it'll it could easily slip out when you have washed your whatever it is that you have made so I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial of the color change and I hope that it was helpful to whoever has been having trouble with it. I enjoyed having you on my channel and I hope to see you in the next one where I will show you how to actually sew in these loose strands. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!